guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time my name is Kaylee and I'm so glad you're here today's video is all about DIYs Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I still want to do a few little things just for the season our living room is pretty bare so I want to fill it up with some stuff and also outside because honestly I still have the Christmas welcome sign out there and also the Christmas wreath on the door I need to take those down and replace it with Valentine's Day theme Stuff. We are going to go through this journey together with these DIYs because honestly I have this stuff and this is what I do every single time I buy stuff that I think will look good together kind of just throw it together and see what happens um, So if you've ever seen any of my DIYs or like my decorate with me's I do it as I feel so it's going to be interesting and I'm excited to see what I come up with Okay to begin with I'm gonna get everything out of my way that way I have a clear space to start my garland You had me at a low Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I'm going to be using my burlap slash jute rope mesh I go ahead and roll it out quite a bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the end and kind of just guesstimate how I want my poofs to be and how big I want them to be We can leave and run away once I have an idea, I'm going to go ahead and cut my pipe cleaners in half. And we're going to tie the end. And here's an example of what it's going to look like. So I went ahead and took off that pipe cleaner that I just showed you. Now I'm getting all of my ribbon ready and also my tool. That way we can go ahead and tie everything together without having to redo it later. So I'm taking my ribbon at the very end where my mesh is and then I'm going to go ahead and take that pipe cleaner that we just had and put it back exactly where it was. What we do is what we do. I can take you anywhere, somewhere. So now you can kind of see what I'm getting at where I'm going to take my poofs just adding my ribbon along with it. You will see me Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some bows in between each poofs. So now I'm going to go ahead and change the buffalo check to the pink one and pick some pictures out of PJ and I and put them in the picture frames. Hi. It is currently day two of doing these DIYs. Just to let you guys know that last night I got super tired and this is obviously current day. I put a post up on my YouTube channel about like an hour or two ago. So obviously you're watching this video. There is the DIY going up right now and then the Extreme Clean With Me will be going up in the morning. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and let's just continue. So I had this extra banner. You'll see me later on take it down. I will be using masking tape and clothesline pins to help the garland stay on better. 
So what I do, I just take a piece of tape and on the back side of where it opens and closes, I just tape down one side, that way it'll still open up in the front. That way I can attach a piece of the fabric from my garland onto the clothesline pin. So here is what I came up with. I really hope that you guys like it. And like I said before, I went ahead and took down that red banner just because I didn't think it looked that good. Okay, y'all. So now that is done, we're going to go ahead and go into my garage. And we are going to spray paint the back side of that Christmas sign. That way it's drying while we do our wreath. And yeah, let's just get to it. All right, getting started on our wreath, we have our mesh, we have our ring, we have our pipe cleaners, our main centerpiece, and also our ribbon. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and take your pipe cleaners and you're gonna cut them in half. There's gonna be four half size pipe cleaners in each little section and you can tell by the little divided areas. You'll notice that there's four individual rings all the way around and you're gonna take the top two rings, tie a pipe cleaner around it and tie the bottom two rings with a pipe cleaner. So there should be two pipe cleaners on the top and two pipe cleaners on the bottom in each section. You are the one that I will call when I'm drunk You are the one that I just need to feel love You save me from the Now starting with the mesh, you're going to go ahead and unroll it just a little bit and you're going to go ahead and cinch the ends and go ahead and tie it into one of the pipe cleaners very very tightly Want you back back want you back 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 Some say that love don't hurt but I now after you have that connected and the ends cut off, you're going to go ahead and take a little poof. You're just going to guesstimate and you're going to see how big that you want them. And you're going to go ahead and go from the top to bottom, top to bottom, just like a zigzag motion. And every wall is getting close And I don't know what to do Can't you save my soul? Can't you save my soul? Can't you mend my heart? Can't you mend my heart? I want you back, back, want you back, back, back Yeah I want you back, back, want you back, back, back Some say that love don't hurt but I so I'm hitting the end here and I accidentally made my poofs a little bit too big so you want to make sure that you do them at least a little bit smaller than mine but once you hit the end you're just going to tuck the very end underneath your last poof and I'm going to go ahead and take out those last pipe cleaners and instead I'm just going to put a bow there. Go ahead and cut some ribbon up. It doesn't matter exactly what size just enough that way that when you fold it in half each end pokes out. Been. 
So you'll see here when I say when I want each end poking out. So what you're gonna do is just take your ribbon and where your pipe cleaner was where you cinched each poof. You're just gonna tie your ribbon into that pipe cleaner and you'll do every single one. So you're just gonna alternate your ribbons back and forth. Now onto this bow. It's actually pretty hard to explain how to make this bow. Honestly, I just Googled it and you can do the same. I learned just as this moment was going on. But if you want me to show you how to make this bow more in depth, I can go ahead and make a video for that. Just leave a comment down below. So I hot glued a pipe cleaner to the back of this bow and I just tied it onto the ring. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I want my main centerpiece and then I'm going to take it off, put some pipe cleaners on the back. I'm just going to take my wreath and go ahead and weed that pipe cleaner all the way through to the back. How can you make me feel this way? Don't let me down, down, down. It could be you and I. Flip it over and then tie the pipe cleaners to the ring. Don't let me hold you now. I want to lay in your arms. Come let me love you now. Yeah, you're the one. So here's the finished product of this wreath and I think it looks so beautiful. Okay, now back to the board. We're gonna go ahead and sand around the edges and then a little bit on top of it. I'm wiping it down with a dry paper cloth. Then you're gonna use polycrylic protective finish. That way everything stays weatherproof. Now onto the very last part. I'm just using vinyl for my lettering, but you can also use paint. If you would like to purchase this vinyl for your own board or any board in the future, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I can message you directly. I just wanna hear you say that you want me to. I told you I can't get you off my mind. Come let me hold Okay, the sign is done and I think it looks so, so, so cute. I hope that you guys liked everything that I did today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!